you live in an old house or a period property, one really fantastic way to bring back the character of the property is to reveal the original beauty of things like architraves and skirtings. And you can see on this door frame, so these are the, these are the architraves. This was a section that was painted, many, many years of painting, and you've pretty much lost all the detail. All those beautiful sharp edges have gone under years of paint. So what I've done is strip back here using a specialist product and the character just shines through. Let's take a look how we do it. So you have to use a specialist product which is actually designed to work on the timbers which are fixed on the wall. Tools for the job then are the bucket of peel away and their applier. Um, I also use another smaller spatula. I've got a little brush just in case I need to spread it out a little bit, you'll see. My plastic sheeting and my paint covered architrave. We're ready to go. Like a paste, this is it can see, it's very squidgy. Before you start working on it, open up the door or take it off so you don't get the peel away on there. And then you simply apply it. And how do you do that? Well, you take the paste on the spatula and simply squeeze it onto the areas of architrave or skirting board, which are still painted. It's really, really simple. You leave it on for anything up to 48 hours. You cover it with this sheeting to stop the air getting to the peel away so it still keeps it nice and moist and then you can keep checking on it and seeing how it's doing. Then after 48 hours, start scraping it off. As recommended, I've put the peel away on with the spatula, but what you find is it's really, really thick in some places, which is a bit of a waste, actually. So I like to uh, not waste things. Um, so I spread it out a little bit with the brush and I just find the peel away goes a little bit further. Then we're going to put our plastic over the top don't want to press too hard because you don't want to squidge the peel away about underneath. And there she goes, cooking. Let's have a little look and see how this one's doing. I am not convinced that this one's going to be ready, but just for you, just for you, let's have a look. Oh, look at that. It's like cottage cheese. Look, can you see? Because all the paint isn't coming off. But it's no great shakes. All I need to do is scrape those bits off and then pop some more peel away on. A little bit more plastic and leave it for longer. It's a really good idea to do a test section first. I mean, I've taken this off to show you, but what you would do at home is do a test section, leave it on, and then you can work out exactly how long the peel away will take to work into your paint on your piece of timber. So on this side of the architrave, I've put the peel away on and left it for 48 hours, so it's cooked and most of the paints come off. I'm actually leaving it quite distressed like this. It's a look that I want to achieve, so I am leaving a little bit of the paint on. But most homeowners, DIYers, would sand this back so it's nice and smooth, then prime undercoat and paint to get a really beautiful crisp finish and the original detailing of the timber shining through. So it's a step that's a little bit of work, but it's well worth doing.